great. Okay, so I'm starting again. So I might have two videos up because I don't wanna to have to repeat everything. So, and these are some more kitty cat cards I made. So this is a set. This one I watercolored the background and then I stamped the cat, the mouse and the trees. And this one I watercolored the background and I was hoping that when I stamped the cat on it, it would kind of look like it's fur, but I didn't like it. So I ended up filling this in with um, some ink pads. I just stamped and made them into watercolor. And here's another kitty one. And I don't know if you noticed on the other cat one, you could see the background paper here. I made that paper using all the stamps in this stamp set, except for this big one. I used all those other ones and I stamped all over the paper. And again, that's using a whole sheet of cards. And I'm just trying to see. I mean, I have a ton over here. I just don't know if I've shown these or not. I think I have. Like this one. And it opens up. It says, thinking of you. But if you open the front, it's got decorations there. So... It's meant to open this way, but for some reason, if they closed it or opened it the other way, it looked pretty. Uh, let's see. Just this one using some more of that paper. Nothing strategic or great about this. This one, though, I used four different scrap pieces of paper to make that one. I was just... I don't know if those pieces of paper came cut up. They were given to me. And that's just how I was trying to use them because they weren't anything gorgeous. Here's another one using a same pack, trying to just use up some scraps and things I have laying around. I haven't crocheted much. I'm just trying to see what else I've been working on. I have not been crocheting. I, oh, this is, this is the flower using this from in, in impression obsession so this was the first flower I made and then I made these two and I'm not sure if any of them are supposed to be leaves or not but I just kind of use them as leaves and you can this one like I stamped over twice so this one I did a background I did this loopy one then I did the center little thing then I did the center and I actually kind of liked it. And I kind of liked this one with the different colors and the different size leaves. I kind of liked it. So I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate that into a card. And again, that was using Impression Obsession Painted Leaves and Petals. So it's just all different leaves and here like here's the center so this petal here is your base this goes over it you can maybe even use this one again over it but this one usually i would use with this here's your little center cluster for your stamens and see there there's no real leaves but this looks like it could be a leaf so i use like that and then maybe stamp that over it i just played it was it was nice I did get this step set recently too that I was trying to play with. So I belong to Hero Arts uh, monthly stamp kit. And I've done it now for six, six months, I think. I think I'm gonna put an end to it because the last three months I haven't used those yet. And there are other things out there I might wanna try. So I think I'm going to put a stop to that. And I heard something about Paper Society out of England that I might try. But the problem I have is a lot of those making zines you see in the craft stores that are packaged and they have like the free stamps inside side of them come from England. And whatever they use to make their stamps is not the same. And you can't peel those suckers off a lot of times. The second you buy that magazine, peel every one of those things off and then put it back down. Because if you don't do it the second you buy it, you'll never get them off. I've ripped many trying to get them off because I didn't peel them off right away. 
So I'm thinking about trying something else. I have not crocheted recently. Um, one, because I was giving my thumb a break. I had, I don't know what I did, if it's just really bad arthritis or whatnot, but I had a procedure done, PRP, where it's platelet-rich plasma. So they take your blood, they spin it, and then they spin it again, and then they inject it back in there to help heal it. So it is doing much better because it doesn't hurt just sitting here. I mean, it hurt all the time. Now it doesn't hurt unless I abuse it. So I might get back into trying to crochet a little bit more again. But right now it's nice out. It's summertime. I got my garden in. Well, everything but the cukes and the tomatoes. I can't find my cucumber seeds. I have to go looking for them. You know how you put things in a safe spot? If I ever find that safe spot, man, I'm going to find a boatload of stuff. I can't tell you how much stuff I'll find. And I'll be saying, oh, man, I was looking for that 30 years ago. Lots of stuff. But uh, I wasn't going to, I was just going to plant this garden in this one back garden. But the back garden, we filled it in with wood chips. So now we're going to use that back side yard again. And we'll plant winter squash over there and not plant anything in this one garden. We're going to wait and let the wood chips settle down and decompose and then hopefully next year I can get some dirt and put on top and uh, we can plant over there but yeah, we'll see this so far up front I have maybe four spots of beets I have lettuce I've got four or five spots of potatoes those are I put in when it was cold because when the ground was soft enough to dig in uh, and there wasn't snow on it I planted the potatoes I have eggplants, radishes, carrots. I have a lot of crooked neck yellow squash because that is much loved by my family. I have two spots of zucchini and two winter squash spots already. Then in that back side yard, I will maybe put in one pumpkin just because I only grew the pumpkins for my son and he's not here. So I did grow them last. Well, I didn't actually plant them last year. They grew on their own. I said he planted them from heaven. Um, and so we had them last year. But so if any pumpkins grow from whatever, then they're bonus. But in that back side yard, I'm going to put in uh, more summer squash, more winter squash, spaghetti squash, buttercup, butternut. Um, the turban one, acorn. So we'll plant all those squash over there and hopefully they'll do well. So, but that's what I've been up to. Thanks for watching. Thanks for returning and my new subscribers. So I kind of do a little bit of everything if you're new. And I just like to chit chat and it's just kind of a way for me to document my stuff and I will never monetize this channel. It will always just be for me and my friends and whoever wants to join and show and craft and chit chat. And please feel free to leave me a comment. I love to hear what you guys are working on and what you're doing or what drew you to my channel. And as you can tell too, my hair is getting really long and it's still wild, but uh, it's a gorgeous day outside. Let me see. I think you can see the sun in my window. Let me see if I can figure out how to turn you around. No, so I can't. I, there's a button to push, but I'm afraid if I push it, you all will disappear. So I am going to say see ya. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend. And thanks for watching.